Hello students at Haberfield Public School in Stage 3. This is a help video to create your first Soundtrap project. I'm starting on the Google page, the classroom page, and what you will need to do, it says create a ringtone using Soundtrap. You'll need to click this link. When you click this link, it will take you to this page. And I'm going to click it now and show you. So it takes me to this page which is the working page and on this page you're going to create a ringtone now what you're going to do uh, you will first of all uh, I'm going to introduce you these uh, icons over here the first one here is the loops they're all different sorts of patterns that you can drag into your project I'm going to minimize that and this little page is where you can collaborate with other students in your class. And on this page is where I can, you can adjust the sound effects. Remember when you're collaborating, as I am the administrator, I see all conversations. So all conversations need to be appropriate to the work that you are doing and nothing else. Now, well, let's go back to the uh, all the different browsing the loops. I want you to use these first of all to make your ringtone for your phone. It could be for your parents phone or a phone that you don't have yet but maybe in the future you can make a ringtone. Here are other ways to use patterns. There are browse the loop which is the same as what I have open at the moment. Patterns, beat maker there and there's a, a way of using an instrument, a digital synthesizer. You're also going to be using this program to create a podcast for English, but I'll talk about that more um, later uh, on another video. So let's start straight up. I'm going to listen to some of these, the sound loops, and work out whether I will use them for my ringtone. I might think of something Camden Rain. That sounds interesting. I'm going to listen to it. Oh, that might be nice. I might use that. So if I just double click on that, it, it goes straight there. And there's the length of my project. And that length is pretty good for a ringtone. Any longer, it's too long, but it gives you enough time to get your phone and answer a phone call. So that's good. Now, that's just percussion. I would like something melodic too. So I might look for maybe something with vocals. So I'm going down here. Oh, there's all sorts of things. Um, I might do something with a choir pattern. It's not too jarring, but would um, alert me to the phone. So I'm going to do a listen to this. Oh, I might just I put it in straight away. I'm going to delete that. See how I can delete it? And now I'm going to listen to it before I put it in. It's a little bit too short, I think. It's just a bah, and it disappears. I might try this one. Again, a bit too short for me. Uh, maybe this one. Ooh, yeah. I think I like that. Okay, let's double click on that and it gets inserted. It's the same length as the drum pattern. I might put it up there. So I, now I might do one more pattern. I only want you to use three patterns and something to complement that pattern that does it, it fits with it. Here, yeah, I might listen to this one. I might put that in. Let's listen to that now. These are all the tracks together. I'm going to go back to the beginning. See, I'm using this. The, the, I can go back to the beginning like that. I can bounce back and I might uh, play it now. That sounds good. I'm happy with that. I know it's about 15 seconds, but your project should no, be no longer than 15 seconds. That is the limit. Now, the next important thing to do is save. So I'm going to click save. 
Now when it's saving, it all go, also goes into mixing. So it's mixing those three sounds together. And you need to wait till that's mixed before you can do the next step, which is to download it. And you're going to upload it onto your Google Classroom. It's still mixing, your Google Classroom is there. At the moment, I'm not in the student view. So when you're here, you will hear, see assignment. And if you click that, it will bring up the possibility for you to upload this file. Going back to the soundtrack, you'll notice there is a down arrow here now. This is your, you can download your mix. Now there are two ways to download your mix. If I click on that, it downloads and it's telling me it's going to give me somewhere to put it. So I might just put it on my desktop, which will be over here somewhere. And it's got a name there. I might just uh, call ringtone so I can find it easily. It's always good to label your project so you can, you can put, I might put ringtone CW. Because if everyone calls it ringtone, I can't identify it. So I'm going to just put ringtone CW, then I know it's mine. It'll go over there, look, it's down here in the bottom left hand corner and it's over here on my desktop too. So there's two places I can drag and drop. When you're back on your Google Classroom, you can and click on this down here, you will be able to drag and drop that into your project. So um, it's at the moment, it's uh, as in a, a wave format. Now I can do it as a smaller file, but this is only 16 seconds, so wave is fine for this project. But when you do a longer project, you might go back, I'm going to click exit here, and I'm going to go back, it might be here as well, export, no. So I can ex go exit here, I'm going to exit, and now I'm in the um, my home page, and here's my assignment, it's called March 25, and I can go like this and I can name the project. I would suggest that you name your project, your own ringtone uh, uh, CW. So I change the name, rename, and I put ringtone CW. Excellent. And then I'm going to save that. And now it's going to give me, I'm going to download, I can download it as an MP3. Sometimes that's good because it's a smaller so, uh, size file compared to the wave. There's the MP3, I click on that, and once again, I'm gonna take it to my desktop, I'm on a Mac computer, but Windows computers work very in a similar way. I click Save, it's come down to the bottom of my uh, browser again, my Chrome browser, it's there, I can drag and drop that again. It's on my desktop over here. Anyway. There is the Create a Ringtone project. You only have one lesson to do this, so don't spend too much time. Get it done quickly, and good luck, and enjoy, and create a lovely ringtone for your phone or someone else's phone. Bye for now.